print it, you or play it, you know, in the audio sense or in the video sense. You literally need software to interpret these digital objects. Uh, complex thread spreadsheets, for example, are, are computable devices there, in a sense. So um, I'm concerned that the preservation of the uh, information is not uh, solely a question of preserving the bits of these objects. And so I've become concerned with what I'm calling bit rot, because as you store away digital information, even if you keep copying it to new media, as we get more and more dense uh, in alternative forms of storage, preserving the bits isn't enough. We have to be able to interpret them. And so the question is, well, what software was used to generate the bits? Uh, how do I preserve that software so I can use it? And my favorite example is, imagine it's year 3000 and you're surfing the internet and you discover a 1997 PowerPoint file. Now, if you happen to be using Windows 3000, the question is, can Windows 3000 interpret a 1997 PowerPoint file? And this is not a dig at Microsoft at all. We could have the same discussion with open source software. It's not clear that you will have that kind of 100 year or 1000 year backward compatibility, even though we likely can preserve the bits over that period of time. So do we have to preserve the software? Do we have to preserve the operating systems that ran the software? Do we have to preserve the instruction set that ran the operating system that ran the software that knew how to interpret the bits? And what are the intellectual property issues associated with that? This is an unsolved problem. It's one that's becoming increasingly apparent that we have to figure out how to solve. Otherwise, what will happen is that as the network continues to ingest more and more digital information, we'll have a sea of useless information that we can't interpret. That's certainly not the outcome that most of us hope for an internet that goes on into the future. So I hope you'll be able to address some of these issues, and I know the panel will be picking up some of them later. So let me stop there, and thank you for allowing me to take time this morning, and I'm looking forward to questions and the discussion from the panel. Thank you.